You challenge me, and I accept. It's a fair duel. Your skin <laughs> against mine. <laughs> no contemplating. <laughs> Just wait. <laughs> Forgotten something, Laredo. Be the loser. Ten dollars a body, huh? That's a good price. Pay this man eighty dollars. Long be doggone. That's very good. My paper's got to have an article on this. Uh, what'd you say your name was? I didn't say. His name was J. Rocco Barrett, half Indian, half white. A man forced to learn the hard way. To trust was good, but not to trust was better. For everyone, an outcast was an outlaw. So whoever crossed his path was a potential enemy. Howdy. Let me guess who you are. You're either a bounty killer or maybe a sheriff. People shuddered when they heard the name of J. Rocco Barrett. He lived for revenge. No other thought ever passed his mind. The professor knew it. Laredo knew it. Redskin, you want to get along with Laredo? Everyone knew of Rocco's revenge. Yeah, I'm a half-breed Cheyenne. I lived with the Cheyenne till they kicked me out for being so disgusting white. And the white folks, they just spat in my face. But most of them are dead now. No, to... He was caught in a vice of hate. For the white man, he was an Indian. The Indians would not concede him that identity. You man without worry. Just look, beautiful morning. Richie was Rocco's only friend. What are these? These are the ropes they used to kill Richie with. The five men who killed him now had to face Rocco's revenge. Rocco! How long do you think you've got to live in this here town? Suppose you keep your pretty mouth shut. The queen of spades, kid. Bad luck. <laughs> Who was the fifth man? Was it Domingo, Yuma, Laredo, or the kid? Tell me who he is. You never know. Never. <laughs> There wasn't gold enough to buy off Rocco's revenge. Either you faced Rocco, or ran from Rocco, or died by Rocco. Oh, power!